Hey guys, this is RD Techie, and today I'm coming to you with a video about how to set up your overlay or your starting soon screens, the tickers that come with it, all that using stream elements, but for the default OBS Studio. As I work in GFX and animation with streamers, a lot of customers I have have trouble figuring out uh, how to set it up. And uh, I'm not always able to help them because I don't use the default OBS. I use OBS Studio and I think it's a really powerful tool. But there is an easy way to set up OBS um, Studio to show your ticker, your overlay and all that. I'm, I'm going to use Stream Elements, and I'm going to take you through the steps. Well, this already assumes you have an overlay and uh, all that files that it's needed, whether it's a PNG or whether it's a, um, a WebM file or an MOV file uh, if they're animated. I would suggest using WebM as it's less intensive on your CPU and your computer in general, especially when you're looking at streaming or recording or something like that. So first things first, I'm just going to start up a scene here. I'm going to call a scene called BRB. All right. And I'm going to start up another scene. I'm going to rename this scene. Uh, let's say game. All right. So we don't have anything in there. So what I'm going to do is add a browser source but to do that browser source and all that we're going to go to stream elements so the reason i'm using uh incognito is because i don't want to log out of my rd techie twitch account but i want to show you uh how it all looks when you start off with stream elements so what we're going to do here is go to streamelements.com all right and uh we're just going to go we're going to go connect with Twitch depending on where you stream. Now, I don't know if it has Mixer support yet. So this is basically uh, for, t I'm going to just go with Twitch uh, because I stream on Twitch. So here is my bot. Thankfully, Google remembers everything. So that's going to ask you stuff and I'm going to be like, okay, look at that. That's a nice picture, isn't it? Uh, once you agree to that, it's going to take you to your dashboard and it's going to be the, the um, crux of the of the whole situ uh, thing we're doing right now with overlays and everything that comes with it. So that's pretty much how it shows up. There's absolutely nothing. I mean, who the hell would follow a bot account? So th all that you don't have to do. If you do, sure, great. What we're gonna be focusing on especially is uh, my overlays. Now the theme gallery has a lot of overlays that are common, like every, a lot of people might be using the same overlays. Uh, you can go ahead and use that if you don't have an overlay done. Uh, but if you do have an overlay done, custom made or something, this is what you need to do. So you're gonna go to cl click create new overlay and we're gonna type this as various or anything, you could write anything. This is gonna be our BRB screen. Oh, does not have an H. And I'm gonna keep that at 1080p because that's fine. Because that's the resolution I'm capturing it. I'm just going to keep that there. So once you have that, I'm also going to create another blank overlay. And I'm going to call this game. And I'm going to put just, oh, various. And I'm going to put this name, game. All right. That's fine. So what we're going to work on first is our a game overlay. Actually, let's go with a BRB overlay. Isn't this a pro tutorial? I mean, I don't think anyone can make a tutorial so confusing as I can. So if you do get confused, which is completely understandable because I'm not the best uh, tutorial person, let me know and I'll try to clear it up as much as possible. All right, so now you have the uh, overlay manager, basically what it's called. It's like the overlay designer. You can use this to design your overlays. This is kind of, uh, let's say, um, intense, like kind of, oh my God, where do I start? Right. So don't worry about that. What I would start off with is uh, quite simple. Let's go to layers. Um, let, actually, let's go to library or insert video. If you have an um, animated overlay, you want to click on inserted video. If you have an animated, uh, if you have a static one, which is a PNG file, you want to click on insert image. So I'm going to go insert video 
Now, it's not going to show me anything, so I'm going to just go scale to fit. That's fine. Play with audio. Loop. Loop is important, especially when you're talking about overlays, so it keeps it going. It doesn't go run once and stop. It's just you need to keep it going because it's going to be a 10-second clip or fi you know five-second animation, but it just keeps going, giving that uh, illusion. So we're going to change the video. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to load up. Obviously, my bot account has nothing on it. So I'm going to click Upload, and uh, I'm going to click that. And this, I'm just going to go to mine because that's a client. So I don't want to use their stuff. Uh, let's go to, all right, there's a bunch of stuff, right? But that's the one we're using. This is the BRB screen. So I'm going to just use that. And I use that. And it's loading up. Great. Perfect. Now we have the uh, web webm which is quite short it's quite small you there is a limit involved i believe the limit is about 20 mp uh, mb for file on here but i don't know for us it's it's more than enough most webm files will be quite small you don't have to deal with it you don't have to worry about it so what i'm going to do is i am going to wait 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 what is this Position and style, there you go. So I'm gonna go to editor, click that. I'm gonna drag this, you could do it a couple of ways, or the easy way to do it is just go 1920, 10080. And you've got yourself set, hey. Uh, so you got the width and you got the thing and you got you go to the position. If there's any offset, you can fix that. Rotation, I really don't have. So I'm gonna just center widget and it's gonna be set. Um, I am trying to see if there's, see, that's my BRB screen. So now that's done. I am going to do one thing that I recommend you do right away is I'm going to lock that down. That's our background. We don't want it to move it accidentally. We don't have to run into trouble doing that. Now, if you want to add more stuff, you can. All I want right here is um, the, um, what do you call it? My streams chat. There you go. You click that and you get the app. Right. I'm going to put that down right there and you could put it all the way down. Just, uh, you can match it, you know, you can put it like that and you have your streams chat. And, uh, what I always recommend is, uh, using, uh, opacity to about 75 something. So it just looks kind of neat, you know, or else it looks kind of, cut out and you know very abrupt but if you have your opacity down a little bit they'll do it so if i if someone chats on there it'll show up on there it's automatically done you don't have to worry about it now that's done done diggity do it and uh, messages fade after 30 seconds you can keep them on permanently you can have them fade off i if you have a very quick chat i would say uh fade them if you have a very uh not so quick, just do it more permanently. It'll just scroll up and it'll be like a normal IRC chat. Uh, if you don't know what IRC is, I'm just that old, sorry. Uh, so if you go to, there's a different way to, you can have white, you can have checkered. I don't use checkered, I just use dark because dark theme is it. Dark mode is the way to go. You know, that Dark mode is the way of the future. So uh, that's what I use. And now we just hit save. Great. Now what we can do is um, copy this bad boy over. So to do that, just click on editor. We go to top. We go finish. Oh, sorry. Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? You go. I think it was. Let me find okay. widgets. Save. Okay. Hit launch. Oh, there it is. All right. So hit launch. Yeah, that took a long time. Hey, so this is the link that um, it shows up. Now, this link is what you're going to load up as your browser source on OBS. So what happens with that? I will show you right away. So we're just going to copy this link. You can either hit control C or click right here. Very nifty button. And it opens up in a copy. So you just go to your um, OBS again. You go to the BRB screen. You're going to add a browser source. Very simple, very straightforward. You're going to call it BRB screen because um, that is what the browser source is. And I'm going to give it the same height and width or width and height um, as the um, 
overlay we designed. And we're going to put the link on there in the URL section. And very important part of optimizing uh, your browser performance, your OBS performance, your computer's performance while gaming and streaming and or recording is to make sure you do this. Shut down source when not visible. What that does is that it uh, shuts down uh, the source so you don't have to um, keep it running. A browser source is like a browser window. So if uh, you're using Chrome, imagine if you have a browser window running all the time, and if you have two browser windows, and if you have three browser windows, you know it, it'll add to the to the resources to the, the the weight that the performance has to pick up with. So what I do is always shut down source when not invisible or when not visible. You don't need to deal with it, so you get hit OK. And now it's gonna take a little bit, but it's gonna show up. There it is. All right. So now the thing is, if you go to game. And then you come back. It takes a little while to show up. That's fine. I still think that's a good trade-off. So now that BRB screen is done, I'm going to set up our overlay. So I'm going to just quickly go in here, close that out. Let's go back and exit out. We got our BRB screen set up. Very easy to do. Now we're going to do the same thing. Say goodbye. No, no, sure, whatever. Uh, go to the overlay designer. Editor, rather. Sorry keep thinking designer but it's an editor so we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna add a um i don't think i have a video of my own overlay i kind of use static so let's insert an image and we're gonna set the image again no images so what we're gonna do is find us an image so our overlay well this is a defunct overlay but i'm gonna use it just to show you guys so this was my first overlay and it's ugly as hell it is big it is annoying it is disgusting right but I'm just going to show you so I can show you how to put the tickers on because it's very big. I can make it very clear. It's easy to do it. All right. So that's our overlay um, thing. So what I'm going to do here now, so I'm going to go position and style again, do 1920-10080, easy peasy. Just going to go center widget and then click save. And then we're going to open up the layers and we're going to lock it. All right. So if you go to the editor, It'll show up. It'll show up. Just give me a second. There you go. Oh, God, that is an ugly overlay. I apologize for invading your eyes with that. But, uh, you know, you learn from stuff. And that was my first overlay. And uh, I am glad I dropped it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is add a all these widgets. So the, we want them auto updating. We don't want them staying and we don't want them to type their name out every time. I mean, if you get a hit with the massive gift sub or raid, you're going to get plenty. You don't you won't have time to change it all that personally. So what we're going to do is just add widgets. And the easy way to do that, uh, you can zoom out. Awesome. I should have done that first of all. Um, the easy way to do that is just scroll down here. You have latest, see, st it says stream subscribers. You go latest subscriber, display your latest new subscriber, latest resubscriber. What I just do is just latest subscriber, you know, that, it, uh, that is all I do. I just click add. Now, this thing, I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to put that name down here. I'm going to change. Um, oh. I'm going to see if that a position and style. That's the one. All right. So. Eh? Oh, text settings. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to look at this. It says, you know, later subscriber, blah, blah, blah. So that's great. Uh, text stroke. We're going to have text shadow, text shadow, blah, 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 spacing size. Uh, we're going to have a bit of higher size. So let's call it uh, um, about um, 40. I think 40 is good. Yeah, 40 looks good. We're going to change the uh, font and stuff. So let's go. How do I change the writing? This hasn't, I haven't done this in a while, guys. So apologies for that. Uh, do I change it like that? Nope, that's not it, is it? Hmm. All right, I'm going to quickly find that out and then I will get back to it. One eternity later. Found it. All right, so apologies. It was on top. I couldn't see it because uh, it get went well, up. But anyway, so that's where it is. So you, what I do personally, because I have all that written in my overlay itself, I just remove that. So it just shows up the name. And I'll just click Save. All right, so then I'm going to just emulate a subscriber event. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so Stacy. So that, that'll tell you 
that is an example, you know? So don't worry about that. We can do, you know, keep it going. And what I'm going next is going to do the same for donation and followers. And you can actually adjust your text. You can adjust your font. You can even use custom font. A uh, font I love to use is called Bebas New. I think that's the way to call it. I, it's just called Bebas in this one, I think. A Bebas. Yeah, that one. I love this font. It's so nice. It's so neat. It's commercially free to use. You don't have to worry about it. I love using this in my projects and my personal uh, thing as well. So um, I'm just going to go see that's a nice font. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. Uh, this is the mask where the name is going to show up. What we can do is once you know that, you got to just lower the size so you get to make it fit. So Stacy fits there. Uh, let's give it a different color though, because uh, oh, sorry, no, nope, that's the margins there. Let's let's give it a f very trippy color, not too trippy though, because uh, we don't want Stacy to look so. There you go. Stacy will be happy with that. There you go, Stacy. All right, so um, let's go to the next one. All right, so the next bit is the latest donation. Uh, again, all you need to do is um. Uh, you just go add uh, up down here. You have latest followers, latest share, latest. Uh, where's the latest tips? Recent tip. There you go. Just latest tipper, um, total cheers amount, recent host. You, these are all the things you can add to your overlay. And I'm not going to order add all of them because it's just wasting time and I'd rather keep it short. So what you will do is uh, add oh, add them to the overlay and um, that's it. And you're set. And again, we're going to do the same thing here. What we did before, we go to the editor, we hit save. You get hit the launch button. You click on the copy. You go onto your... Um, OBS, you go to the thing, create a browser source, uh, call it overlay, uh, and go OK, and then you go do it again, you put the source in, you put the size in. It's very important you match the source to the size. If you happen to stream in a different resolution, make sure you do the changes there as well. Uh, shut down source when not visible, uh, refresh browser when it becomes active. You could choose to do that. Uh, it's always a good idea. If you have any trouble loading it, the easiest thing to do is just to right click here, uh, double click here and go um, down here and says refresh current cache of current page. And that is it. Now, if uh, let me see if I can get this to work. All right. So I'm going to load this up. I'm going to make this smaller. All right, I'm going to close that. So I'm. Um, we're going to change this and we're going to alert this and up. Oh, I want to check that. Show emulated events on stream. There you go. Yes. Um, let's go. Subscriber, right? Boom. And if that happened, Annabelle, there you go. Change happened here automatically. It will happen because your Twitch is connected to your uh, stream elements account, which updates the browser source, which updates the overlay. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope I was clear. There was some uh, a little bit of a lost bit where I couldn't find the text, <laughs> uh, but other than that, it was uh, I think I covered all the bases. And if I didn't, let me know, and I'll make sure I do so next time. And if you have any doubts, let me know. I do stream Frank quite frequently on Twitch. I also uh, have a Discord chat uh, server, and I also have Twitter. So I'll ha all those links will be down there if you do want to get in touch with me. I do want to put a disclaimer though. I am terrible at answering comments on YouTube. It's not because I don't like it. I love them. It's just uh, my phone doesn't do well with alerts on YouTube. So I just kind of tend to not get uh, the alerts. So I miss out. But I do. whenever I do notice them, I do reply to them. I do appreciate them. I do appreciate the views, the likes, and all that jazz. But this is mo mostly done so that I can have some place to point to when a client of mine wants to f figure this stuff out. I will also do one for alert boxes later. Uh, and it's a very simple process, uh, but I just don't want to make this video too long. But that's it for me. Uh, this is already Techie. Thank you for watching. Hope you have an awesome day ahead. Keep on gaming on.